good everybody it's the one that never takes a loss ice cool boss your source for the toronto raptors the raptors just beat down the indiana pacers again the raps are now on a 13 game win streak which is the largest win streak in franchise history and the raptors accomplished this incredible feat all without the aid of Kawhi leonard hey, hey, hey. the raps obliterated the pacers for the second game in a row 115 to 106. this is the raptors 10th road win in a row as well i'll be damned Lowry entered the game nine points behind Vince Carter for third on the Raptors' all-time scoring list, and Lowry wasted no time beating Vince's record as he scored 10 points in the first quarter alone. Unfortunately, Lowry nearly got decapitated this game by his own player. Serge Ibaka's thunder thighs almost took the point guard out of commission permanently. Oh my god! World champion Lowry didn't play for the rest of the game and is questionable to play against the Brooklyn Nets after experiencing whiplash. No! Thankfully, Serge Ibaka made up for almost killing Kyle Lowry by dropping his very own double-double. With a game-high 22 points and 10 rebounds, Serge Ibaka destroyed the Pacers of that class. I don't do drip or money or fashion. I do arts. So me, it's about arts. That's it. The undrafted rookie from Ole Miss is making everybody believe. Terrence Davis just came off of a career-high 31 points against the Bulls, and instead of taking it easy, he still continues to impress. This man has 17 points in the game, with a hefty 11 points coming in the final frame where it mattered the most. Terrence Davis had a monstrous block on a three-pointer by Doug McDermott, which again is the hardest shot to block in the entire NBA. Right after that block shot, Davis hustled to throw down a putback slam off of a Pascal Siakam miss. Speaking of the first time All-Star starter Pascal Siakam, he played extremely well in the first half with 13 points on 5 of 8 shooting from the field. Unfortunately, in the second half, Siakam shot a dismal, abysmal 1 of 12 from the field. Hell no, till the no, 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 hell till the no. To be fair, Rondé accidentally poked Spicy P in the eye near the end of the first half, which left Siakam with a bloodshot eye for the remainder of the game. Steady Freddy was steady like usual as he finished with a proper 20 points and 7 assists with 3 made triples. Next year, he's in the All-Star game, mark my words. And finally, the original gangster OG Ananobi was actually good this game. I want the truth! Believe me, I'm telling the truth. After OG went scoreless last game, this man followed up that horrid performance by scoring a hefty 16 points. OG must not like paying for things either because he stole the ball a Burger King whopping game high five times. I think I speak for everyone when I say we need more of this OG especially if we want to be taken seriously in this year's playoffs. But enough of what I think. What do you think of the Raptors annihilating the Pacers again? How much longer can the Raptors' win streak survive? And finally, where do you see the Raptors finishing in the Eastern Conference this year? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's it for today's video. Take it easy. If you thought the video was live, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified when I provide new NBA content. See ya!